What's going on guys? This is Michael from Groundbreaking Gear and we're here today to go over the Maxpedition Riftcore Tech Bag. Let's get into it. So you can see that this is a hard case. You get this little Velcro area to throw your little badges and stuff like that. Stuff that you want to show off, which is pretty cool, I think. So we're going to open up this bag and check it out. So I have a actual pill dispenser. This is a, a certs case. Um, I like how slim these things are. You throw my vitamins in there. Nice to have. I have the Samsung T3 500 gig hard drive. This thing is awesome, super small, super compact, can go anywhere and hold tons of stuff. I carry my phones in there, so I have my work phone, my Apple phone, and then my personal Samsung S7 Edge. Um, these things are, you know, by far you can see, I actually cracked this one, not in the bag, my own fault. So there's an extra area right here that you can put stuff. You can see this mesh film right here, this honeycomb material. And I'll zoom in on that real quick. This honeycomb material right here, this thing is super sturdy. And the pocket is actually nice and big. So we're gonna get into the next compartment. Down here you can see that th they actually call this um, a lattice system. So it used, to, it used to be called Molly, and this is where you start attaching extra gear to your bag. So you can see right here, there's extra, there's these extra pouches that hook on with their Molly uh, latches, or their lattice latches, and they slide right into the grooves on the front side and the back side of the bag, and then they just lock other stuff in place. I think that's pretty cool. So this front pouch right here. Let's lay this thing back down. So you got another huge pocket right off the bat, right in the top sleeve. I can fit my whole hand in there. You can fit tons of stuff in there, which is pretty cool. Here's another Maxpedition um, pouch, and again, they have their Molly system on this one. You can see that it's a little bit different than this new uh, lattice system. So in here, I have my Surface Book docking station. So the plugs for my Surface Book. Tons and tons of extra cables. You always need cables. One of the best cables of all. This is the uh, Nintendo DS, 3DS cable, and it goes right into my docking station or um, you know USB plug, and it allows me to take this thing anywhere, throw it into my charger, whatever, and uh, I got gaming everywhere. So without that big clunky plug that they normally give, and then I got a handful of other cables. Uh, USB-C, mini, Thunderbolt, everything is in here. I actually have to get a better bag for this. Alright, so you can see how much open room that is in here after we move that docking station out. So I'll have my checkbooks, some pens, markers, there's more sleeves down here, more pockets. I'm actually not using any more, but there's still tons of room in there. There's actually a lanyard for your keys. So yeah, really cool stuff. Let's sit that and slide this back into view. And go on to the next part. So we're gonna go into the first big pouch. And this pouch is actually set up 
like a uh, clamshell. So what happens is you grab the two uh, beautiful zippers, I might add, with these awesome um, finger hooks, latches, and then so you have to do is slide it open just enough to get your hand in there, and you can actually just pull this thing right open. And there we go. So super easy. Um, you can tell immediately that I actually have two laptops in there and a uh, charge tech power adapter. So let's get into the charge tech. So you can see that I have it wired into the grill. This is a, an internal lattice system or internal Molly with some Velcro on there. So this whole thing is also uh, can also take Velcro straps to it. Um, and I actually have my charge tech wired right in. So the best thing about this charger is that, yep, it's a three prong uh, power cable. So now I can put my Surface book or my mix, plug it right into this guy. Has two power chargers for USB as well. And this thing can go anywhere, super portable, pretty much always on. I charge this thing maybe once a week. It's 30,000 milliamps um, and actually not, not, not too big if you consider the size of my hand with the size of this charger and compared to what it can do, this thing is pretty amazing. So you can see the rest of the wire system in there. So we'll just Velcro tie this back up. And again, the cool thing about this system is, once it's in, you could do anything with this. So right off the bat, if that was charged, if that was plugged in, you can see that I can actually close this up with the double zippers. And you can see how easy that is to, to zipper up. Okay. Right off the bat, just like that. So let's quickly grab a phone. And plug this thing in and this is what I would do I would actually throw it in my bag throw it in the pocket zip it up and have this thing charging and you can actually you know put that in a little bit tighter they don't have an internal mechanism for wiring but this is pretty cool in itself and it can go into anything so I have an iPad in the back you can actually plug in the surface while it's in the car and you're going from place to place, so it's ready to be, you know, ready to start working again as soon as you're at the next, at the next location. So yeah, not bad. And again, these zippers, so smooth. <clears throat> so here I have a X pattern with some Velcro strips holding in the laptops. Again, this thing, like I said, has um, this mesh here. You can Velcro anything to it, so you can put any kind of configuration you want and hold all kinds of stuff. This, uh, this is actually, this inseam is about two inches uh, in depth, so you can hold a lot of stuff. And you can see right off the bat, there's uh, some paperwork here. Throw that to the side. We have my uh, Lenovo Mix 700. And then we have my Surface Book. So two, carrying around two laptops all the time. Pretty much tons of tech in this bag with ease, right? So now let's go on to the next one. And again, remember, so all you got to do is pull open that little bit of a little bit of a zipper area and you could pull this thing open like a clamshell opens and closes they make this thing really really easy to get into so again that honeycomb pattern for this pocket this pocket mesh 
this thing is super durable and you can start you can actually fit tons more stuff in there I actually have two notebooks these are the live scribe uh, the live scribe books the moleskin edition so I carry these around this is where you you know have a digital pen you write on a special paper and then all of that stuff then gets uh, sucked into your iPhone or um, or your uh, you know Android device and uh, away you go there's a little pouch up here I hold another one of those certs cases for more vitamins yeah I love vitamins good supplements this pocket is pretty big you can fit all kinds of stuff in there I carry my 3DS so I showed you a minute ago that cable that comes with I actually carry another one in here just in case tons of games Mario edition <laughs> that's what's up so yeah I carry this around if I'm not carrying this around I actually have to the side I actually have my uh, hacked PSP so all the old emulators and ROMs and stuff like that MAME, NES gotta love that stuff retro or <clears throat> my PS Vita again tons of games always good stuff to carry but it depends on what mood I'm in and what games I want to play most of the time though I'll carry the 3DS they have a better game selection alright let's get into the other part of that clamshell so you're gonna notice immediately that I love pouches I have pouches for every single thing in my bag and it's important because it keeps these things organized super organized so right off the bat you can see nice light gray pouch really soft to the touch uh, this is just a handful of cables and plugs everything at your fingertips nice and easy I have another one here this one actually houses my uh, hero and my session my hero 5 and my session so you never know when uh, when something's gonna go pop off or you're in need of uh, you know some video some good video uh, action-packed stuff or you just wanna you know set something up uh, the hero is always nice to have in your pocket Take a look at this so there's some straps right here so this can hold more gear this actually holds some of the stuff in here on top of this pocket keeps it nice and snug I actually have a uh, USB 3 adapter which allows me to hook up three more uh, USB 3 um, devices plus a network I don't know who uses network cables anymore but it's there this thing was like uh, I swear it was like $11 it's probably one of the best buys I have in this bag. It's pretty cool. Here we have more pouches. So these Logitech, um, these Logitech pouches actually came with uh, some mice. Uh, these things are pretty cool, waterproof or water resistant. Um, I have some cables and stuff in there. More cables. Yeah, I know. Some vitamins, Advil, stuff like that. You never know when you need some medicine and nobody else has anything. These will save you. So I put those in my bag. Here I'm dropping stuff. And then let's see what else is in this pouch. Oh, yeah, so this, this bag is an IBM bag. It doesn't have anything IBM in it, but it has actually a cool little utility in there. So this thing is a a hand crank charger so it also has a solar panel on it AM FM radio flashlight three different levels with SOS it has a hand crank so if there is no power um, put this down there's no power and you're stuck out there somewhere and there's no Sun you know you can just crank this up 
and it's going to gen some power. I haven't used this thing in a long time, but you can just tell right there. Pretty much since I bought this thing, it's, I used it once just to test it. Um, and I just did that, uh, that hand crank and I had some energy. So, yeah, you can see how it went off on its own. I didn't even touch it. So it can also, which is pretty neat, charge your devices. So how cool is that? And in the bag, there's a handful of different connectors, so you can charge pretty much anything that you need to charge. I carry this thing around with me. You never know when you're stuck out there somewhere. You need power for your phone, and literally there's nothing around. This, you know, this will get you out of some trouble. So now we're going to talk about the back compartment, and then we'll get into the sides. So let me pull this stuff off. Put this to the side. So this back panel is actually a nice little hidden spot back here. So right here you can see that there's a zipper here and a zipper there. So on this side, because it's a uh, double zipper, you, you have the option of throwing something in here and then uh, if you don't zipper up one side, but you zipper up the other, you throw this over your back and literally whatever you put in ends up falling out and breaking. So I just had to have my iPad replaced because that's exactly what I did. So the thing that I was missing was they actually give you a Velcro strap in here and you can hear it. And the strap comes out so you can swap each side, whichever side that you want to use. Uh, I put it on the right. So now if I ever do have this open, it doesn't matter because that Velcro is going to keep it, keep it locked in and whatever is in there is not going to come out. So right now, iPad mini, and you can see that this pocket is huge. I mean, I'm going to make a fist, and I can put my whole fist back there. Even if this thing was packed, I'd still be able to do that. I could put tons more stuff back in this, in this pouch, uh, which is pretty amazing. You can tell from this angle this nice uh, padding here. You can see that this, these vents here for airflow keeps you from being sweaty on your back. And then this is about, I don't know, I'd say a half inch to a little bit more than a half inch thick. So nice padding on your back. You can drop this down anywhere and it's not gonna break. So, I mean, this is pretty impressive. And again, you can see that they have that honeycomb, that honeycomb material pretty much everywhere on their bag. This thing is made to last. And I've been using this bag for a very long time, and you saw how much tech was in it. And you can see that there's no wear on these seams. Nothing. A little dirt, but, but literally no wear and tear on this bag. And I use this bag every day. So we're going to take this off. So I carry this around. This is my Beats headset. It's the portable studio, the wireless studio. So you gotta have a headset with you all at all times. And this one's cool because you can do wireless, Bluetooth, or wired. Um, so you can throw it on pretty much the mix and the surface, go back and forth pretty quick without worrying too much. So I carry that too. And now let's get into the side pouches. So what makes this bag is how much stuff I actually have in it. And on top of that, I mean, I'm adding more and more each day. So I wanted a little bit more space, and sure enough, for an extra 30 bucks, you buy another one of these uh, Maxpedition uh, Max little pouches, and it hooks right up to the lattice system, and it doesn't look over, you know, it doesn't look obscene, like this is a crazy, crazy backpack. It's just it's two small pouches, but they hold tons of gear. See when we undo this zipper. Oh, another pouch. So let's see what's in this one. So this one's actually the uh, what is that? 
say. It says be unique and be myself. B U M uh, B U B M. These things are pretty cool. And I love the soft felt material again. So I hold um, my mice in there. I have a Logitech mouse. Um, what's this one? This one's the M M310. Uh, and I love this one because this one actually houses the little USB dongle. Uh, I don't know if you've seen other Logitech mice or even you know other devices that have these dongles, but if you lose this dongle, you're screwed. So this is a cool thing. It goes right in the bottom. You put it away, nice and neat. And when you have one of these, you know, pouches, you just throw it in and you're good. The other one's a razor. This one's for my Surface Book. More so gaming and other stuff, but this one's Bluetooth. It also has a wired component to it that fits all right there in its own pouch. And then I end up throwing that pouch in the bigger pouch, just so that they're together all the time. Nice and neat. So let's crack open the rest of this. So you can see that this is another clamshell. This has what they call the drawbridge strings. So you can see that it's actually holding, it's actually holding the clamshell uh, in a L shape. So you can loosen and tighten this cable up. You can remove it and it'll open all the way up. So there's another pouch or another pocket down here. More of these rubber band, um, you know, latches. And then I have, let's see what else is down here real quick. So nothing crazy. So I have this case. This is actually the uh, charge tech soft bag, soft pouch. So if I wanted to, I could throw it in here when I'm walking around with it. And uh, I don't have to worry about it getting scratched or anything like that. Um, like I said, you pretty much can tell I love pouches. So let's go to the other side. Again, another little pouch, same thing. We got one for each side, so they look the same. And what do you know? This one actually has the power source for my mix. And it's the mix pen. And like I said, with these pouches, everything stays organized. I pretty much know where everything is, they're together, it's not flapping all in my bag, and I'm not carrying it around Ziplocs like some other guys do. Um, you know, this is super, super neat. And the best thing is, if I needed to just take a specific thing, like I needed to take my docking station and my mix plug, it's two pouches, my two laptops, and I can boogie. So in the next part of that section, this one, another zipper pocket, but this one actually has another pouch in it. So this one is a slightly hard case. And I actually like this bag. This one actually holds all my little, little USB uh, hard drives. So I have so many floating around. It'd be silly if they were in anything else but another little bag. So I can always creep track. They don't go anywhere. This whole bag has to come with me. So. so that was it for that pouch. I have another Mix 700 pen. You never know. Um, I have keys on this one, on this side. Some extra keys for uh, my parents' house. And in this back pouch here, I have another hard shell case with a two terabyte Seagate hard drive. Super thin, super portable, two terabytes. Truthfully, I probably have about, I would say, let's see, with those other hard drives in there, and this hard drive, and the 500 gig, probably looking at five TB I'm walking around with, uh, and all these little drives, so not bad. Can hold lots of storage. Any, anything else in this? No. So. That's it for my tech bag. You can see that this thing is pretty much emptied out, but it held all that tech. It's pretty impressive. So like I said, Maxpedition, Maxpedition makes an awesome, awesome bag. 
most of the time these bags are made for you know outdoorsmen guys um, you know you'll see them to do uh, everyday carry they'll have tons of uh, survival gear inside but this particular bag this particular version of this bag uh, they're making for more tech related or business folks which is awesome because then you get the same material waterproof material you can leave outside you don't have to worry about your tech getting ruined if you're in the rain walking you know off the subway doing whatever you need to do outside and you have your stuff with you you know you're not running running to the to the quickest uh, door or uh, restaurant to make sure that your stuff doesn't get you know doesn't get ruined it will stay safe in this bag and that's what it's meant for um, I've been using this bag for about six months now and I really really do love it um, but I just got a new bag in the mail and we're gonna start checking that out soon so I'll do another video with all of this tech and then show the size difference and even some uh, some weight um, you know some show the weight uh, and how it's supposed to act on your back so this thing is, um, is super heavy I'm not gonna lie it is super heavy but it falls in the right position of your bag of your back and uh, it feels good but it's still heavy so the new bag that I will be looking at soon enough is the KP uh, keep pursuing zero G bag so we'll test it out the next time and uh, for next time you guys have a great one